I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh my goodness. If you could film Astaire, me. Astaire, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. You got a woman that don't really like you. You got. God, hold on. Tell me, you're not the first man to said this. I'm on now. I don't think she does. I think. What the hell? How they gonna be married all these years? At some point, in time you I, get. I, I think she liked the lifestyle. The West has lost faith in the idea of masculinity. Now, that's no different than the death of God. It's the same thing. The divine symbol of masculinity has been obliterated. Well, so then what do you expect? What it, what's going to happen? It's going to, that means masculinity is going to become weak. I like the masculine spirit. It's necessary and it's not fundamentally carnage and pillaging. It's not fundamentally rape culture, you know, it, it's not fundamentally world destroying. And all of those things have been, all of those aspersions have been cast upon it. That's partly the guilt of Western society. The Will Smith and Jada drama has brought about a lot of conversations around the lack of masculinity in the Western world. A lot of people are saying he has not been a man of his home, hence the lack of direction in their marriage. Is that true? Well. If we were to judge their marriage based on what we've seen online, then I would agree with that notion. Will Smith has time and again shown that he is not in control of his home. His slapping of Chris Rock was not masculinity but foolishness. Masculinity involves self-awareness and control. Would you be surprised if his sons did the same in the future? Absolutely not, because children learn more from what they see than hearing, and so far, Will hasn't been a good role model. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he's a bad father, he has just demonstrated that he's incapable of leading them. From my understanding, masculinity, when channeled positively, plays a vital role in shaping a better world. Jordan Peterson has emphasized the importance of embracing one's inner masculinity. He argues that a balanced society requires individuals, especially men, to manifest these qualities. It is not about promoting a rigid or toxic form of masculinity but rather acknowledging that these virtues are essential for the well-being of both men and women. Robert Bly equally emphasized the value of embracing a strong and responsible masculinity, stating that it is necessary for men to tap into their deep-rooted, primal energies in order to become compassionate and purpose-driven individuals. Bly's perspective suggests that a well-nurtured masculinity can lead to a greater sense of self-awareness and emotional intelligence, enabling men to form more meaningful and empathetic connections with others. What is the masculinity we can aspire to? Well, it's responsibility, fundamentally, and, and it's, it's, it's to, to put it symbolically is that your your responsibility is to incarnate the spirit of the logos that's your responsibility that's your role in life and that is independent to some degree in whether or not you accept the idea of a transcendent and eternal reality now i'm not making a case for that or against that i those things are beyond human understanding but we know what happens if people act poorly, if men act badly. We know what happens. We know that the world turns into something that's so close to hell that the difference is trivial. We know that.